I think the key point to note is that none of the short-term projections of project fear have happened. Uh, both the Treasury, the Financial Times, the whole of the economic establishment said uh, that if we voted to leave, uh, by now we'd be in a major recession and unemployment would be rising. That hasn't happened at all. Unemployment continues to fall uh, and we've had a number of major announcements from high-tech companies that they will continue to invest in a large scale in the UK economy. So looking forward to 2017, I'm reasonably optimistic. Uh, of course, there are constraints and uncertainties caused by the Brexit vote, so I'm not predicting an economic boom, but I'm predicting you know, a fairly normal year of growth. Growth of the order of 2 to 2.5%, which is uh, considerably more optimistic than the uh, establishment forecasts. And this will be growth which will be sufficient to uh, keep unemployment stable uh, and to create additional jobs. And I believe that inflation is low uh, because of competition in product markets, not because of the actions of central banks. It's competition that keeps inflation low. And we live in a highly competitive world, and that therefore, although the fall in sterling will add some pressure to costs, and there will be a rise in inflation, I expect this to be contained, and that inflation will remain below uh, 2%. And I think finally, uh, I think there's little doubt that uh, interest rates in America will start to rise during 2017. The Federal Reserve will start to put them up. The American economy is growing very strongly. Uh, and there will be pressure on the Bank of England to do the same here. So I expect to see at least one interest rate rise during the course of the year.